Unit 2. Basics of Accounting. This unit will familiarize you with some important basic accounting terms, accounting standards and accounting concepts that your candidates for FDI advisors should know. Accounting is a framework that measures business activities, forms data and information into reports and makes that information accessible to decision makers. The reports, which impart this information about the performance of an association in fiscal and financial terms, are called financial statements. Accounting is usually defined as the process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decisions by the users of the information. This information has a primarily financial function. Therefore, accounting is a communication system used to document the activities of earnings for business companies and for non-profit institutions. Accounting provides information that allows for detailed and efficient judgments and decisions by the end users of the information. The process of accounting offers these essential financial data to a wide range of individuals whose objectives for studying the data may vary substantially. For example, bank officers may need a company's financial statements and data to evaluate the ability of the company to pay a loan. In addition, interested investors may want to compare financial data from different companies to help them decide which company represents the best investment. It is essential for decision makers to have reliable and comprehensive information before they can make a decision and invest money and resources. Also, the management of a company, owners of the company or sole proprietors can make decisions about the future business steps based on the accounting data. More specifically, accounting information is extremely valuable for potential investors interested in investing in existing business because they can use it to evaluate the financial impact of different alternatives. In this way, they can monitor and reduce the risks involved in investment by using the judgment of professionals and experts to quantify the future financial consequences of implementing an action or delaying an action. Finally, accounting is often confused with bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is defined as a mechanical process that records the routine economic activities of a business. As it is widely accepted, accounting consists of bookkeeping, however, it also goes well beyond bookkeeping in scope. Accountants examine and interpret economic and financial information, prepare statements, audits, develop and design accounting systems, prepare financial studies, forecasts and budgets and provide a plethora of other services. The key objectives of accounting can be summarized as follows. Recording. The most basic role of accounting is to record and summarize business transactions and balances. This process is often referred to as bookkeeping and is fundamental in managing any financial ventures and investments. This kind of information is not only useful for the managers of a business to keep track of the financial health and performance of a business, but is also important for prospective investors and other stakeholders. Planning. Organizations and individuals need to plan how they will allocate their limited resources, cash, labor, materials and equipment, so that they can reach the competitive demands of the future. An effective manner of doing so is through the use of various forms of budgets. Budgeting is a prime component of managerial accounting. Budgets permit organizations and individuals to plan for the future by anticipating future needs and resources. Decision making. Accounting's other important role is to provide information and analysis for decision-making and control. Accounting provides a basis for evaluation of the overall performance over a time period which promotes accountability. Accounting is divided into numerous areas of activity, branches. These regularly overlap and are often intertwined. However, it is beneficial to distinguish them and learn basic information concerning each area. As Roger Wallner mentions in Accounting Basics, accounting is divided in the following branches. 1. Financial Accounting Financial accounting involves recording and classifying business transactions, preparing and presenting financial statements to be used by internal and external users. Financial accounting is primarily concerned in processing historical data. 2. Management Accounting 
Managerial or management accounting emphasizes the preparation and analysis of accounting information for use by internal users within the company. Management accounting deals with the needs of the internal users, the management, in preference to strict compliance with generally accepted accounting principles. Management accounting involves financial analysis, budgeting and forecasting, cost analysis, evaluation of business decisions, and other similar areas. 3. Auditing. External auditing is the analysis of financial statements by an independent party with the purpose of examining the fairness of presentation and compliance with generally accepted accounting principles. Internal auditing emphasizes the evaluating of adequacy of an organization's internal control structure by testing segregation of duties, policies and procedures, degrees of authorization, and other controls implemented by management. 4. Tax Accounting Tax accounting helps to comply with regulations set by tax authorities. It includes tax planning and preparation of tax returns. It additionally entails determination of income tax and various other taxes, tax advisory services, for example finding ways to limit taxes legally, evaluation of the consequences of tax decisions, and other tax-related matters. 5. Forensic Accounting Forensic accounting involves courts and litigation cases, fraud investigation, claims and dispute resolution, and other areas that involve legal matters. This is one of the popular trends in accounting today. Other branches of accounting, relevant also to FDI investors, include 6. Accounting Information System Accounting Information System AIS, involves the development, installation, implementation, and monitoring of accounting procedures and systems used in the accounting process. It includes the use of business forms, accounting personnel direction, and software management. 7. Fiduciary Accounting Fiduciary accounting involves handling of accounts managed by a person entrusted with the custody and management of property of or for the benefit of another person. Examples of fiduciary accounting include trust accounting, receivership, and estate accounting. Furthermore, to fully understand how accounting works one has to know the basic accounting concepts. The following list includes a summary of these accounting concepts. The terms are taken from the article Basic Accounting Concepts, Braggess 2017. Business Entity Concept According to this concept the business and its owners are two different independent entities and their transactions are to be kept separate, for accounting purposes. Accruals Concept Revenues are recognized when earned, and expenses are recognized when assets are consumed. This concept means that a business may recognize sales, profits and losses in amounts that vary from what would be recognized based on the cash received from customers or when cash is paid to suppliers and employees. Auditors will only certify the financial statements of a business that have been prepared under the accruals concept. Conservatism concept. Revenues are only recognized when there is a reasonable certainty that they will be realized, whereas expenses are recognized sooner, when there is a reasonable possibility that they will be incurred. This concept tends to result in more conservative financial statements. Consistency concept. Once a business chooses to use a specific accounting method, it should continue using it on a go-forward basis. By doing so, the financial statements prepared in multiple periods can be reliably compared. Going concern concept. Financial statements are prepared on the assumption that the business will remain in operation in future periods. Under this assumption, revenue and expense recognition may be deferred to a future period, when the company is still operating. Otherwise, all expense recognition in particular would be accelerated into the current period. Matching concept. The expenses related to revenue should be recognized in the same period in which the revenue was recognized. By doing this, there is no deferral of expense recognition into later reporting periods, so that someone viewing a company's financial statements can be assured that all aspects of a transaction have been recorded at the same time. Materiality concept. Transactions should be recorded lest the decisions made by the reader of a company's financial statements would be altered. This tends to result in relatively small size transactions being recorded, so that the financial statements comprehensively represent the financial results, financial position, and cash flows of a business. Our Limitations of Accounting 
Regardless of accounting's huge advantages, there are limitations of accounting that every accountant, advisor and business person must be aware of. The main limitations of accountancy and financial statements fall into the following categories, as shown in this figure. 1. Accounting policies, often accounting policies vary from country to country as there is no global standard, thus creating confusion. 2. Professional judgment, professional judgment is common when applying accounting policies. Because it is subjective, the interpretation of the accounting standards and application will create differences in the judgment. 3. Verifiability, an audit can provide reasonable but not undeniable guarantees of the accuracy of financial statements. 4. Using historical costing, using the method of historical cost to measure assets does not manage to account the changes in values over time. This again leads to the trap of making accounting information subjective, as the assets may not have the same value today. 5. Measurability, financial statements cannot estimate resources that don't have a monetary value. Consequently, these resources will not be assigned a reasonable value. 6. Predictive value, as financial statements present the accounting picture of a company in a past period, there is often limited insight into prospects and a lack of predictive value that is essential for investors. 7. Fraud and errors, to err is human, usually, there is always room for errors and or fraud in financial statements. This can ultimately undermine the credibility and reliability of the statements and all information. 8. Cost-benefit compromises, the quality of accounting information can be compromised due to the cost of producing reliable information. I.I. Accounting as an information system. Another key role of accounting is accounting as an information system. Accounting information system, AIS, is a structure that a business uses to collect, store, manage, process, retrieve and report its financial data so that it can be used by accountants, consultants, business analysts, managers, chief financial officers, CFOs, auditors and regulatory and tax agencies. In particular, trained accountants work with AIS to ensure the highest level of accuracy of financial transactions and record keeping of an organization and to make financial data easily available to those who need access to it for legitimate reasons, while maintaining statistics and data intact and secure. The components of an accounting information system Accounting information system generally consists of six main parts, people, procedures and instructions, data, software, information technology infrastructure and internal controls. B. Types of an accounting information system. There are multiple types or categories of accounting information systems. What a business firm uses depends on the type of business, the size of the business, and the needs and scope of the business. One of the most common challenges that accountants nowadays face are the rapid technology changes that have a considerable effect on the sector. As stated by David Emmerman, CPA and Zero Ambassador, accountants need to adapt to the new technology that's coming out there and not be afraid, and move forward with everything. Accountants need to look at better processes that our clients can really embrace and will allow them to be more successful, which in turn, allows us to be more successful.